The health care battle continues in the nation's capital tonight. West Virginia has the second highest number of senior citizens per capita in the nation, and now they want their dental benefits. The fight continues on Capitol Hill over President Biden's Build Back Better plan. Advocates for senior citizens are trying to add back dental care plans in Medicare. They were included in the original bill, then were stripped out last week. But health care experts say dental problems can lead to more serious medical issues, especially in the Mountain State. West Virginia is the highest rate in the United States for heart attacks and coronary artery disease. It's number two in the United States for diabetes. It's number seven for stroke. Some in Congress support the dental plan, but worry Medicare cannot afford to pay for the benefits right now. No one seems to care about inflation right now, but all this is affecting and hurting average people in West Virginia. So I'll be fighting for those expansions when we stabilize the trust fund that we have now that Medicare is dependent upon. Advocates say prevention now is a lot cheaper than paying for serious health complications later. If Medicare would pay for dental care up front, you actually can save Medicare money. You save the cost of perhaps a long hospital stay and treatment that where the cost would be much higher. The Build Back Better plan seems to be a moving target with benefits being added or removed every day. We'll continue to bring progress reports to you every step of the way. There are also efforts in Congress to expand Medicare to include vision and hearing benefits. And a provision to allow Medicare to negotiate lower drug prices has been added back into the bill after it was removed last week. And according to the Coalition for Oral Health Care, only 52% of senior citizens in West Virginia have had a dental visit in the past year.